Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it is Monday morning, 5 a.m. It's quite breezy out here this morning, if you can't tell. Sorry if it's messing with the audio. But uh, we're doing the final little, you know, organization inside Goliath to get ready to hit the road. Last night after dinner, we loaded up the motorcycles and stuff, with the exception of Talon's bike and Amanda's bike, because they just don't fit. Talon decided to put the Hayabusa in the trailer and ride his electric glide home instead. So Talon and Amanda are gonna ride the motorcycles home. We will follow a ways behind the Goliath, probably quite a ways behind because, you know, we're just slow moving and they're not, and I hate to make them wait for us. Now, there are still a lot of empty tents here. Well, last year, we made the U-turn and went straight out that way. We're not gonna be able to this year. So I am gonna have to back Goliath straight up, kind of towards that trailer down there, so that I can then bring him forward to where I am standing and get him centered in this lane, and then back him all the way up down there so that I can make the turn going out that way. Luckily, this time I've got talent with me too, so backing up into dark spaces is kind of nice having that second person because it's very difficult to see the backside of Goliath in the dark. So he'll help guide me out of there. And once we're, we're pulling out, they're jumping on the bikes and they're going too. Guys, Talon and Amanda are on their bikes and ready to go. Goliath have backed out of the hole and in a position where I can maneuver out. So we're getting ready to hit the road.
minute to stop in a pilot here. Kind of like, I don't know, we're on the west side of Suffolk, I guess. Really just wanted to clean the windshield because it's got a bunch of sea mist and dust on it. And also I need some coffee. Just needed to move around a little bit. I was getting tired. All right, guys, quick and easy. Not staying here for very long. We got coffee. We went potty. Cleaned the windshield. Then we're rolling back out. All right, guys, we made it to our favorite sheets over here in uh, Kernsville, North Carolina. Let Jessa do her business for a minute. Katie's inside prepaying for her fuel. And then I will pump fuel, check our loads, and uh, eat a burrito. I think we're making fairly good time. It's only about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, give or take. All right, I stand corrected. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. And uh, like I said, we're at this point, we're only about four and a half hours from home, if I had to guess. So we're... Already past Winston-Salem, Kernsville, Greensboro, all that. We still got Black Mountain, which can be a slow roll. Of course, when we get into our neck of the woods, it's some slow going up and down the mountains. But uh, kind of feels good to get out and walk around. It's actually chilly out here. It's breezy. It's a little bit rainy. Not bad. It's just a sprinkle. It's just enough to be annoying. It's not really, really wet. So we're all finished here at the sheets. I did a circle trip around the truck just to make sure everything looks good. I checked the trailer. All the motorcycles are still standing. Everything's looking good in there. Um, we used, let's see, $390.12 worth of fuel. 136.45 gallons from here to Ocean City and back to here. But anyway, let's get this thing started back up. And uh, let's get back in the road just a few more hours until we get home.
Jessa James is more than happy to be back home. All right, quarter till 7 p.m. It's still daylight. I mean, the sun's going down, but it's not that low in the sky. It's still way up there. I think we made pretty good time, longer than what Map said, but, you know, we stopped and got fuel. Uh, we did stop two other times, just briefly. But all in all, we just kind of hightailed it. Uh, Talon and Amanda got here probably an hour, hour and a half ago, so they were a little bit ahead of us. All in all, the trip went well, and I can't complain. All right, so I'm getting the trailer opened up because Town and Zach should be here in just a few moments with the truck. Well, I think they're bringing the excursion because I dropped my truck off at the shop before we left to get an alignment done on it. And I don't know if it's done yet to go pick it up. But she's going with the excursion so we can pack some of our things into it, take it home and uh, unload some of these motorcycles and get them back out to the house. All right, so we got these three bikes out. The Road King could stay there for the moment. We'll come back up tomorrow, maybe grab it. And actually, it can probably just stay in there. I don't think I'm gonna ride it this week, but it will go to Smoky Mountain Harley-Davidson with us. But uh, we have also got all the waste oil drums we can come back up with the trailer and take them over to the shop. Look how tiny Amanda looks in my big truck. I know, it's too dark to film a closing down here. All right, so I really wanted to close the video down by the creek, and obviously that's not gonna happen, it's just too dark down there. But guys, it feels really good to be home. I'm glad the Ocean City trip went well all the way there. Everything there went well all the way home, can't complain. When we left, the fall colors were just starting to change. At some of the higher elevations, we could see some of the reds and the oranges showing through. And although it's definitely not full fall colors right now, but you know, a week, eight days later, you can see more of them coming out. There was a couple really absolutely beautiful pops of color along the way. And for Katie and I, this is our favorite time of year. We love the colors of the fall here in the mountains. Well, obviously we did not make the full 20,000 subscribers, but we did get over 18.5, which is, I mean, it's still good. It's not where I wanted to be. But we're going to keep trying. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Try to get other people to subscribe. We really want to hit that 20,000 subscriber mark. It's just a personal goal. This time, we're only home for about 10 days. we got to finish getting the other rig ready. Because when we leave on the next trip, we got two rigs going to two different places. Talon, Amanda, and Chip are taking the Overland Express, which we're just referring to as the small rig. Towed by my dually pickup truck out to Myrtle Beach for the Myrtle Beach Fall Rally. Katie and I are taking Goliath to the Smoky Mountain Harley-Davidson dealership for their rally. And I believe Mike is going to come work with us. I got to finalize all those details still. But we've got almost 10 days 
to get all that stuff up and ready. And I'm also hoping that we'll get some riding in while we're here and get some more work done over at the shop. And I've got a couple cars over here in this garage that I now need to move over there once I get that organized. So still a lot to do in the 10 days and we probably won't get it all done, but some things have to get done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time I see you. Keep those engines running. Where do we? What, what she said. Yeah, what I said. Now, Amanda says she can make bougie, 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 bougie grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. So bougie. let's let's go eat.